Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Tracy. I'm Tracy, and today we have a slow and gentle yoga practice of seated stretches, great for everyone. This can be done on its own when you need to help improve mobility and flexibility, or as a post-workout stretch, ideal to use when you're feeling stiff or sore. So starting in a seated cross-legged position called Sukhasana, also known as Easy Pose, we want to be sitting up nice and tall so we can lengthen our spines. If hips are tight, just prop yourself up on a blanket. By lifting up the hips, this will reduce stress and discomfort in your hips, knees, and also your back. So just gazing straight forwards, just want to close our eyes. We want to start to focus our attention on our breaths. We want to feel the natural flow as we breathe in and out through our nose. Place your palms lightly on your knees. Just start to focus your attention on that breath. Just slow, deep, even breaths. This will help to calm the mind. Slowly open your eyes. We just want to roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Just take an inhale, and on your next exhale, just going to turn your head to look over your right shoulder. Just three slow, deep breaths here. Inhale back to centre, and on exhale, look over the left shoulder. Centre. On exhale, take your right ear over to your right shoulder. You want to deepen the stretch, then just take your right hand and place the palm on your left ear and just softly pull away from your left shoulder. You should feel a nice stretch along the left side of your neck. Inhale, release back to centre. Take over to the other side. Inhale as you release back to centre. Placing your fingertips on the floor by your sides. Just going to do some shoulder shrugs. So on an inhale, just bring your shoulders up to your ears and on exhale, release back down. Inhale. And exhale. Three more. Inhale, take your left arm up towards the ceiling, placing your right palm on the floor. On an exhale, we're just going to lean over to your right side, torso in line with the body. If you want to take the stretch a little bit deeper, you just walk your fingertips out, bring the forearm towards the floor, revolve the chest up towards the ceiling, and look upwards. If that's a bit uncomfortable on the neck, just then. Keep looking ahead or down towards the floor. On an inhale, come back to centre. Repeat on the other side. Inhale, right arm up. Leading over to the left.
centre. And we're just going to come onto our back. So face the short edge of your mat and just roll down slowly. We want the knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Now we're going to do a hip flow. So we just want our palms on the floor, arms down by our sides. And on an inhale, we're just going to lift the hips. On an exhale, lower the hips down. On an inhale, lift the legs up in the air. And on an exhale, we're going to roll forwards. Those that don't want to do the roll, just hug your knees. Once we're up, inhale, lift your arms up above your head. Do the same if you're all hugging your knees to your chest. And on an exhale, we're going to roll back down. Those hugging their knees into the chest, just bring your feet flat to the floor, knees bent. Okay, we can do this a few more times. So inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, lower. Inhale, raise the legs. Exhale, roll forwards. Inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, rolling back down. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale and lower. Raise the legs up in the air on the inhale. Exhale, roll forwards. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, roll it back down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And roll it back down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. It's time to stay down. Everybody just hug their knees into their chest. We're just gonna roll backwards and forwards. You can cross your ankles, or you can just roll onto your side to come up into seated position. We wanna keep the legs crossed. We're gonna place the hands behind your back. Let the fingertips face towards your buttocks. Now we're going to press the hands into the floor and on an inhale, we're just going to lift the hips up to stretch the front of the thighs. You can carefully drop the head back to look up towards the ceiling. If that's hurting the neck, then please just continue to look forwards. I'm just going to stay here for three long breaths. On an exhale, lower back down. And just change the legs over. Again, placing your hands behind, fingertips facing forwards, and then on an inhale, just lift the hips up, stretch those front thighs again. Exhale, bring the seat back to the floor. And staying in the seated cross legged position, we're going to do a seated cat cow. So just placing your palms on your knees. You're going to increase the flexibility in the spine, also stretching the back and the torso. So on an inhale, it's going to arch the back, lift your gaze, open up through the chest. And on the exhale, round your back, creating space between the shoulder blades, chin to chest. Inhale, raising up, arching your back. And exhale, rounding your back, chin to chest. Just coming back to neutral position. We're just going to stretch our legs out in front of us into Dadasana. So for these next few exercises, again, we want to be leaning forward. So to help with um, tilting the pelvis forward, I suggest just propping yourself back up onto a blanket. We're going to start with a head to knee forward bend. So legs stretched out in front of you. We want to activate the feet by flexing the toes towards our face. We're going to inhale as we lengthen our spine. 
And as we exhale, we're gonna lean forwards from the hips, not the waist, arms sliding along the floor if possible. And we just want to wrap the first two fingers of the thumb around the big toes, elbows fully extended. Now, if this is too much on the hamstrings, you can bend the knees to lighten the posture. And if your chest is not close to your thighs, then please don't drop your head. And then with each exhalation, we want to lift and lengthen the torso. And with each exhalation, release the little more fully into the forward bend. And inhale. there for a few breaths. Slowly rolling back up. Just give the legs a little bit of a shake. We're going to come into a position called Bound Angel. Um, some people may know this as Butterfly. So we want to bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees fall out to the sides. Again, if you need help to lean forward, then please stay seated on the blanket. We want to ground our sitting bones into the floor and let from our spine and hold it in the outside of the feet, ankles or shins. Allow your body to fold forward from the hips. Keep your spine long and collarbone bone spread. And just breathe in slowly in and out through the nose. Great stretch for the inner thighs and groin. Just stretch your legs out in front of you again and just give them a little shake. We can move into half Lord of the Fishes. So just sitting upright again. We want to just bend our knees, feet flat on the floor. We want to slide the right foot under our left, bringing it to the outside of our left hip. And then bring your left foot to the outside of your right hip. So inhale as you press your sitting bones down, we want to lengthen our spines, place your left hand behind you as we extend the left arm up and as we exhale twist your body to the right. Now we want to place the elbow on the outer thigh, if that's a little bit too much of a stretch you can just hug your left knee and just revolve the torso so we're looking over our left shoulder. Really nice spinal twist. Exhale back to centre. We're just going to repeat on the other side. So knees bent, feet flat on the floor. This time you're going to place your left foot on the outside of the right hip. And then bring your right foot to the outside of your left thigh. Again, sitting bones pressing into the floor. Right arm behind. Extend your left arm up. And as you exhale, twist your body over to the right and take which variation you're comfortable with. And exhale, come back to centre. Just stretch the legs back out in front of you. Just give a little bit of a shake. And then we're going to come to face the long edge of our mat. We're going to come into a seated wide-legged stretch. We want to stretch the insides 
and the backs of the legs. Also to help strengthen the spine. So bring your legs as wide apart as you're comfortable. We want to maintain a nice straight spine. So flex the feet, knees and toes pointing up towards the ceiling. And then we're just going to place the palms on the floor. And then we're gonna bend forward to bring the hips. So we're just going to slowly exhale as we start to walk the hands forwards. If you start to arch your back, then you've gone too far, just push yourself back up again. And then just closing your eyes, you're just gonna take some slow, long, deep breaths here. On an inhale, slowly coming back up. And just drawing the legs back in. We're just going to finish today in a seated cross-legged position. <coughs> Sorry. Just gonna place the palms on softly on your um, knees. Just roll the shoulders back and down. Just close the eyes. Just bringing the focus back to the breath. We're going to take a couple of cleansing breaths. So take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Inhale and exhale. Just bring the palms in front of your heart space. Just slowly opening the eyes. Thank you for joining me today. See you next time. Namaste.